Hey guys, what's going on? And thanks for tuning into Legatum Gaming. Everybody knows what day it is. It is Vendor Reset Day. So as always, what I will do is I will go to all of the safe houses in both the open world and in the dark zone, as well as all the checkpoints and of course the base of operations. So if you guys check out the description below, what I've done is I've put all of the best weapons, gears, and mods in uh, in below in timestamps just to make it a little easier and of course a little more convenient for you so let's make a start um, now normally I'd start at the advanced weapon revendor but unfortunately today um, there isn't anything worthwhile checking out there however at the dark zone gear vendor at the hub I thought I would bring it to your attention that there is a pretty reasonable specialized backpack now it does have 1250 armor which is a pretty good roll it has 1257 electricity electronics, 12,600 skill power, and 14% burn resistance. Now, of course, Specialized is a really nice backpack. It's not commonly used anymore, or uh, used as such, considering the Ninja backpack is now out. However, if you didn't want to use the Ninja backpack, and you did want to use Specialized, um, maybe you were running like the gold build, or whatever you want to call that, um, then I would certainly recommend checking this out if you haven't got a great specialized backpack. Now, my recommendations for this is actually probably to keep the electronics at 1257 um, and spec into that hybrid build, and then you guys could either increase the skill power or you could uh, maybe add health in here, critical hit damage, whatever you want to do. However, if you feel that the skill power and electronics are both adequate, then you could actually put in maybe uh, ammo capacity or something like that where the burn resistance is. Nonetheless, a pretty reasonable specialized backpack and definitely one to check out. Alright guys, at the special blueprints vendor this week, I'm unable to tell you what weapons there is. However, what I can tell you is there is the electronics mask blueprint, the firearms knee pads blueprint, and the EX PS3 holographic sight. Now normally, our, I would be telling you that there's six things to check out here. Normally, it's a sight and maybe a magazine or like, you know, uh, a scope and a magazine, something like this. Now we have the scope. So my guess is I'm missing a magazine. Um, the electronics and firearms, either knee pads and mask, are normally here, and they are here. So what I'm actually um, missing here, which I'm really annoyed about, is actually two weapons. So two weapon blueprints is what I'm missing. Now, to give you guys some sort of guidance in terms of what they may be, of course, um, I can't show you them because I already have them. Now, of course, I only collect really the nice blueprints. So to give you guys some sort of perspective, what they might be is MG5, M870, MP7, AK47, Lightweight M4, SVD, the AUG, or the Vector. So to be fair, really, really good blueprints. I'm sure we want them. Hopefully one's not a crappy pistol. Um, if it is, apologies. However, as I say each week, always check out the blueprints yourself and always satisfy yourself that what you're seeing in the videos is reflective to what you guys can get when you go check them out. When you guys do check them out, if you guys want to drop a comment and let me know um, what the two weapons are that I'm missing in the blueprints vendor, then please let me know and I can uh, tell others. Autumn's Hope this week offers you a damage to elites firearms mod, so pretty, really good. Um, 206 firearms, so it's above the 200 mark, and of course, 3% damage to elites, so a really nice prototype firearms mod for those people who really enjoy PvE or want to get on with the global events. 31, they have a really nice prototype firearms mod in the name of a skill haste, so 258 firearms with 3% skill haste, so a really nice prototype firearms mod, considering it's got skill haste, actually one of the best I've seen in a long while. So certainly head over to West 31 in the Dark Zone and check it out. West 39th offers you, again, another prototype mod. This is in the name of Stamina and offers you 264 Stamina with just over 3,000 health. Now, I know a lot of people don't stack into Stamina and it tends to be uh, firearms or electronics. However, a really, really nice Stamina mod, so definitely thought you guys could check it out. At West 46th Street, they have a pretty reasonable Tenacious Mask. Now, the armor is 973, so it's almost at the 1000 mark, and it's pretty reasonable. So for those people who are still running the Hex Hexo build, um, Firearms is at 1221, and it comes with a 4% critical hit chance along with 12% increased kill XP. So my recommendation here is uh, if it is tenacious, then I would recommend improving the firearms to around the 1270 mark. However, if you guys were after a tenacious mask, then certainly head over here. It is pretty reasonable. 
East 61st Dark Zone Checkpoint has a pretty reasonable extended magazine. Now this isn't the best one I've seen, however for those people who are struggling to find a really good one, or at least in newer players, then I would certainly recommend heading over here and checking this one out. So this has 118% magazine size, 3% critical hit chance, and 5.3% rate of fire. And that's a really nice extended magazine, so do have a look. Okay, at 5th Avenue checkpoint, which is the most southern checkpoint in the Dark Zone, right down at DZ1, they have a really nice prototype performance mod. Now, these have been out um, probably the last couple of weeks, actually, so if you guys didn't manage to get them, then certainly check this out. So it's a 4% turret damage mod. So really, really nice and actually quite hard to find. So for those people who are running Firecrest or do have a really, really strong turret build uh, and did need that maximum mod, then certainly head over now. Down here and check it out. All right, guys, at DZ3 Safe House, they have a really nice MP5. Now, although this isn't suited for PvP, it's actually aimed at PvE. Now, it starts off by having 22% critical hit chance, which is a really nice base stat. Of course, the talents on it are brutal, determined, and swift. My recommendation here would be to keep brutal, which is extra headshot damage, uh, increase it by 12%. And then keep determined, which is killing a target reduces all skill cooldowns by 7.5%, which is really good for PvE. Um, and actually, take out Swift, so it's in the third slot. So if it's in the third slot, as we all know, it's a free slot. Therefore, you don't need any requirements at all for whatever talent what you want to choose. Depending on how you run or your team, the third slot, it's entirely up to you. However, I would put in Ferocious. That way, you uh, get extra damage versus Elites along with a decreased cooldown for every enemy you kill, and also along with extra headshot damage. So this MP5 could be a really nice PvE weapon, so certainly do check it out. Alright guys, DZ8 safe house. Now, although I do know that Classified is of course out, and of course Predators is also on this, for those people that did just want some standard Predators Mark gloves, or at least can't get the Classified gear they want, then I would certainly recommend checking out these gloves. Now, these are Predators Mark gloves with 993 armor. The firearms is 1146, and it comes with SMG damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. Now, the stats on this could be slightly better you could get better critical hit damage and of course you could get better smg damage now there's two options you could do here you could either swap out the smg damage for maybe assault rifle damage or um, you could actually increase the firearms now the firearms on this are really low so my recommendation would just be to have these gloves if you did need them only with an smg and actually what you do need to do is increase the firearms Again, it's only my recommendation, and of course, if you don't have the classified you, you, you need, then certainly check them out. However, if you do already have classified, then of course, don't worry about getting these gloves. Alright guys, and we're at DZ9 Safe House. So for those people who do watch this every week, you guys will know this is the end of the vendor reset. So this week wasn't the greatest of weeks, and unfortunately I couldn't give you any god roll items, and I actually think I only recorded about five or six times. So, you know, don't shoot the messenger, I apologize, and I would love to give you guys a full and action-packed vendor reset, so maybe next week. However, I hope you guys did enjoy the items that, that I shown. Now, there is one item here, um, normally I don't ever or I wouldn't ever post something like this however we're in DZ9 safe house and it's the law I always post a item just because it's the last safe house or the last stop of the week so let's check it out now it's actually the defensive holster now normally and of course don't shoot me um, I wouldn't post this because the armor is pretty bad so 863 is the armor however if you want to um, if you want to get away with having a little less armor it's actually a pretty nice holster so it has 7% skill haste, 1,266 stamina, 1,245 electronics, um, and the weakest point on this is the 1185 firearms. If, of course, you take out the armor, then yes, firearms is the weakest. My recommendation here, of course, if you haven't already got a better holster, or at least the classified version, then um, definitely run or at least increase the firearms to around the 1270 mark. So, of course, if you take away the armor um, on this, then you would actually have a pretty nice holster. So, of course, do check it out. 
Other than that, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, apologies for it not being fully action-packed. However, if you guys do have any recommendations for Vendor Reset, how I can make it a little bit better, um, or at least if you guys want me to specifically search for a couple pieces of gear, then please drop a comment and let me know. I'm actually looking for a um, prototype damage to elite stamina mod for a sub, and of course, a headshot damage scope for another person who's asked. So I don't forget, I am looking for these guys. Anybody else who wants to put in like a little request of course i will drop it in the video if you guys did enjoy the video then a subscription would be greatly appreciated remember to tick that bell and i guess if you do i will all see you in the next video have a great day guys